Hey guys, how's it going? Now, I'm sure you already figured out that this isn't my usual filming spot because today we're actually shooting in my breeding facility because my quince monitor is going to be getting an upgraded enclosure. So today he'll be going from a 3x2x3 three by by three enclosure into a 3x3x5 three by three by foot enclosure. It's still going to be a grow tent, uh, I'll be using a Vivo Sun grow tent. I have a few of those now, um, I think they're really great for the price you get for them. Uh, still going to be making it bioactive and planted. Now, I did know that uh, uh, the enclosure he's currently in was a tad small for a quince monitor, however I was using it for a some sort of you know taming enclosure, try to tame him down by using the same technique as I did with my tegu. Uh, however, I thought I may have been right in thinking I could tame him down in just these few months because he has been growing in size, he's really too small for the enclosure he's in now, and at this point I would just rather give him a nice large enclosure for him to explore versus having him as a more handleable lizard. Pretty excited to be putting this setup together. Uh, there's nothing better than getting a large enclosure and setting it up as a planted vivarium. Uh, I already got, I went foraging out a few days ago and got some great pieces that I think are gonna look perfect for this setup. So, you know, with introductions aside, let's start setting this bad boy up. This is a pretty big upgrade from the 3x2x3 to now a 3x3x5. So we got it set up now, now all we have to do is set up the inside and then we can put them in. Don't mind the sweat guys, now the video looks like it only took me a couple minutes but to be honest I've been working up here for about I think three or four hours now, it's, it's some tiring work but uh, we got the enclosure set up, we got the glove on and now we're going to go get the quince. So here he is, a little squirmy, but it's a beautiful little good, looks like he's been shedding but this is pretty much poops, runs away, not too much to say. Easy little guy. He hasn't had any heat for about 10-20 you know, minutes because I was hooking it up in there. So he might be a little um, little cold, so he's a little more docile than usual. Usually he tries biting and usually some sort of musking or just releasing his bowels. Great lizard. You know, this is what um, two to three months, it's only been about two months of handling can really achieve. Well, um, let's go ahead and put him in his new enclosure. <laughs> Well, 
Well guys, there you have it. We went from this enclosure to this big guy behind me. I'm pretty excited with how it came out. It took uh, a little bit longer than I expected. I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired to be honest after all that work, but I couldn't be happier. There was a spider right there, that's why I was staring. <laughs> I couldn't be happier with how it came out. And that's gonna wrap up the video today. Now, if you like the enclosure, uh, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content like this. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. You know, did I knock it out of the park or am I just a little too excited and it's kind of like, eh. Uh, personally, I really like it. I think I did a good job with this one. Um, if you wanna see some more of my animals or breeding projects, you can always follow me at DBCB Exotics on Instagram. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.